Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I'm Kohitsu GZ and in this video I'm again going to do a video on the Raging Flame Flash Claw. So uh, in this video I want to actually focus on the damage that this weapon can actually do. Um, in my previous video showcasing the weapon I actually did about a little over 13,000 uh, uh, damage, uh, damage to uh, uh, an enemy. Uh, I want to see if I can actually get more, and I think I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do uh, in terms of getting uh, as much as max as much damage as I can. So in this case, again, I'm going to have on the uh, Raging Flame Flash Claw. Uh, I'm going to have on the Midsummer Arena's hat and also the uh, clothing of uh, the chest piece, and I'm going to have the Geika armor on. Uh, but the actual appearance is of the force uh, coat for the armamentalist. Then for souls, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to have this soul set up. So I'm going to have Ogre de Mira. So Ogre de Mira is a pretty good soul to have on for Gita. Um, it's going to give me plus 10% to... Uh, uh, actually, the one I want to look at is uh, physical technique damage. So plus 5% to physical technique damage, plus 7% to Gita uh, physical technique damage. Then over here for Mechavern, plus 10% to physical technique damage, plus 10% to Gita damage, so that's going to be pretty good. Uh, for here for Body Gen, plus 12% to uh, physical technique damage, plus 5% to my critical hit rate. Then uh, for uh, Dragon Lord, I'm going to have plus 10% to physical technique damage, plus 5% to Gita damage. Then for the Soul Pearls, I'm going to have a S-grade Ifram Soul, plus 10% to Gita damage. And then this Soul here, plus 7% to Gita damage, plus 10% to Strength. So I think this is going to work out pretty well in my favor. So um, I'm actually going to have a strategy going on. Uh, the character that I want to actually fight against is right here. This is going to be uh, uh, Kanata, so Bazuru Kanata. So with this battle, I'm going to actually have uh, this pretty much set up right over here on the left. Uh, so I'm going to be able, or I'm going to use Rukani on Kanata to lower his defenses. Uh, use force breaks with the armamentals to lower the enemy's resistance to gear based attacks. Use the protective shield's demi combo to increase the attack power from my battle master. Fill battle spirits to level 3 using gathering spells. Uh, battle spirit strength or specific skills of the weapon uh, use gathers battle strength to double the attack power of weapon and physical technique damage next turn uh, wait for the battle weight master rage ability to activate if it doesn't use gather uh, battle spirit strength again until rage finally uh, activates then if attack power needs to be rebuffed i'll have my armamentalist uh, cast by on on uh, on my battle master so that's how i'm gonna actually go uh, so with that said, uh, here we go. Okay, so here we go with this battle. So Kanlis is going to call in his minions first. Okay, so first what I'm going to do with my ranger. I'm going to just do this. See if I can get some shadow binds. So yes, on Kandata. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use... Actually, I'm actually going to ignore uh, Protect Shield, just going to go straight into Stemming. Then here, I'm actually going to use Force Burst in order to get uh, Force Breaks in on Kandata early. And here, I'm going to use Rukani. And that missed. Ooh. So again, Ranger. Hopefully I can get Shadow Binds on one of the minions. Nope, not this time. Okay, so here in this case, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use... Let's see what happens if I auto battle. So probably going to attack Conduct though with that. Oh, attack a minion. Okay. Alright, so in this case, Flash Wing attack on Conduct. Try to get Force Breaks. So there goes one. So I just now need one more. And I also need Rukani to actually go in. So yes, it does. Okay, so now, ooh, my battle master could be in trouble, uh, but I think everything's gonna be all right. Mm, you see that my battle master took a lot more, more damage there. Um, 
But actually, you know what? It's going to be no problem. So with this here, um, ooh, there goes Rage. Um, but um, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to use uh, Gather Battle Spirit uh, Strength. Um, so hopefully the next turn or this turn with my Armamentalist, I will be able to get another uh, Force Break on Kandata. And if I also get a Rage next turn as well, I'll be actually be in a pretty good position to actually see how much damage I can actually do to him. So uh, here we go with this. Let's see, Force Break. Yes, okay, so next turn. Uh, well, next turn, if I get a Rage, um, definitely I will attack uh, Kandata just to see how much damage I'll be able to do. So hopefully I'm going to get something over 15,000, hopefully. Uh, if not, uh, something hopefully more. And it, what would make it even better is if I actually critted the attack as well. So in this case, uh, no, I was not able to uh, get a Rage. So uh, I'm just going to use Gather Battle Spirit again. Then here, um, I'm actually going to, let's see, I'm going to attack this minion here. And going to heal up. Okay, ooh, and so now things are a bit dangerous since uh, Kandata does have uh, Baikir. And that was a nice guard from my Battlemaster. She definitely needed that one. Hopefully, I can get a Rage here. And everyone's Shadowbound. Wow, okay. Yes, alright, so this is it. So uh, I have everything uh, the Force Breaks, the Rukani. I have uh, Battle Spirit, my own attack power is up. So uh, here we go with this attack. Hopefully, I'm hoping for something over 15,000. Let's see what happens. Woo! Okay. Wow. 24,000. Okay. So, um, wow. That's probably the highest that I've actually had uh, any attack do in the game. 24,000, yes, that's, and that wasn't even a critical hit, so if it was a critical hit, it would have done even more damage. Okay. Okay, wow, so I'm just going to finish off this battle, so uh, this minion is probably going to go down within a turn or two. Hopefully. But yes, so um, all that actually worked. Um, everything that I set up. So uh, again, Nukani, the Force Breaks. Uh, my attack power being uh, boosted up twice. Uh, the Battle Spirit to level 3. And I get a... Ooh, an Estel. Though I actually don't really need it. Um, but, oh wow. That actually... Wow. Okay, so that actually worked out quite well. Um, I'm very surprised about how much damage I actually got. Um, definitely, I was hoping for something over 15,000, but I wasn't expecting uh, around 24,000. And the only th way I could actually get more damage from that is if I actually get uh, a critical hit with that. So, um, yeah, so everything worked out with this method on the left here. So yeah, if you have this weapon, please try it out um, just to see how much damage you can actually do. So um, 24,000, that's um, that's the most damage I've ever done in the game. So um, yeah, um, so experiment successful. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.